Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, this is my second time uh, speaking at, the, at this conference. It was a few years ago. Uh, I will be talking about uh, OpenStreetMap infrastructure, uh, especially the part of the infrastructure located in Croatia. Uh, the story about Croatian dragons. So, uh, first, uh, a few times ago, I got criticized because I didn't write anything about myself the last time I presented. So, I'm an open geo, open uh, geo, open data, open source, open standard enthusiast. Uh, enthusiast, uh, long time uh, OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap uh, Croatia contributor. A uh, long time Hulk member, our local Linux organization, and currently I'm a system, administra administrator, oh, system administrator at OpenIT. Uh, do you know what OpenStreetMap is? Does, uh, is there anyone who doesn't know? Okay. I won't throw uh, chocolate eggs, eggs at you like the guy yesterday. So. Uh, you know what OpenStreetMap is. Uh, do you know how OpenStreetMap data enters OpenStreetMap? Anyone? He knows. Okay. Uh, so you don't know how it en enters. Do you know how is it processed? No. Maybe him. Okay. Uh, how is it uh, visualized and distributed? No. Okay. Let's get to it. But first, here be dragons. Why is it uh, called so? Because uh, a long time ago, cartographers uh, specified the areas of the world they mapped, uh, which they didn't know what is there with dragons. So here be dragons represents unknown. Uh, why did OpenStreetMap use that? Because there were dragons on the map. So it, it uh, makes sense to, ma uh, to put maps on the dragons. Uh, so the, all the all the OpenStreetMap all the OpenStreetMap servers are named after, uh, named after fictional dragons from all over the, the spectrum, from uh, cartoons to books to movies uh, to fairy tales, anything. Uh, the whole list is available on on uh, OpenStreetMap wiki pages, so you can go and check all the names which are proposed, which are used, which are retired, and stuff like that. So uh, I said uh, I, would, I was going to talk about processing. No, not on this scale. Uh, this is the complete uh, structure, but we are going to only to talk about this part, because these are external services, these are input services, and not the, the thematic of this presentation. So, we are going to talk about dragons. So, how does the da data enter? Uh, user input uh, is... Is it better now? Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, user, inter user enters the data into primary database. Uh, that is the only uh, way the user has access to primary database by input. Everything, everything other is uh, done with secondary uh, database replicas. Uh, so primary database, se secondary database replicas, they generate uh, read-only versions of database. Those databases, there is it Okay, uh, I, hear, I hear strange noises from the microphone. Uh, so the second, secondary databases are used not only for rendering, but for exports and stuff like that. Like that. Uh, the, the magic that happens is with tile renderers. They, they connect to the database, uh, get the raw vector data, and generate, generate uh, map tiles uh, in uh, PNG format that are 256 uh, by 256 pixels wide and uh, width and height. Ah, I forgot <laughs> the word. <laughs> Large. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, when you get uh, to the tile renderer, then, okay, the tile renderers render the, uh, the, 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 the tiles on demand. Uh, who demands it? Okay, let's, I should have started from this part. The user wants to view the map. Uh, he visits OpenStreetMap site. Uh, who, uh, who directs him to the, to the nearest tile cache, uh, where uh, the tile cache server checks uh, does, it ha uh, does it have uh, the data the user wants to see. If it has, and if it's, it is, if it's not older than uh, one week or certain amount of time, it, rep it represents it to, 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 the, uh, to the user. But if it is older and if it, if it is not uh, available on the tile cache, it uh, sends a request back to the tile render server who renders it, renders it uh, on the fly and represent, uh, sends it back to the tile cache server. So uh, maybe this would help. Uh, there are a lot of OpenStreetMap, not a lot of, there are few OpenStreetMap servers and they are located all around the globe. Uh, to which server you are connecting is based on, on GeoDN, uh, GeoDNS. Uh, every country is assigned, assigned dynamically uh, to a certain tile cache server. So uh, from Croatia, we are assigned to Croatia. From uh, Bosnia, you are assigned also to Croatia. Uh, from Africa, you are assigned also to Croatia. From Germany, you are, you are assigned to Germany. Uh, USA has uh, their own servers and stuff like that. But it's based, based on latency and uh, availability and the, it's a part of service uh, I don't know anything about, but just that it's used. Uh, so uh, currently there are uh, 33 uh, tile cache servers around the world and uh, those 33 uh, tile cache servers connect to uh, six uh, tile render servers. Uh, let's go back to this. So uh, 33 uh, tile cache servers and, and six render servers. <sighs> I complicated. Uh, so every request you make goes from you to tile cache server to re tile render server and back to the user. I hope you got this point so far. Okay. Uh, long, long time ago, uh, this layer didn't exist. There were only two tile render servers and they were located in uh, London where the project started. So after some time, the servers went uh, under quite a load, couldn't handle uh, as, as projects grew, there was a, a larger demand for maps and tiles, and the servers began to suffer. Uh, low, uh, high uh, wait time to get your tiles, it was slow. So then the guys who developed this, they're all uh, volunteers. Nobody in OpenStreetMap is getting paid except two persons. One is an administrative uh, secretary, and another is a bookkeeper. So everything else is volunteered. Uh, system administration, uh, development, everything is done by volunteers. So they volunteered they, their time and created this layer. Uh, so everybody in the world can get their, their maps faster. Uh, let's continue to this. So this is the current, uh, current layout uh, of the tile render servers. There are six of them, much, uh, I mean, so you see there are in America one, okay. This is the bug in uh, visualization software. It, this is the same server. Uh, one in USA and five in Europe. Uh, let's see, uh, currently tile render servers uh, have a weekly maximum peak of 300 megabits uh, of traffic, outbound traffic. So that's just the tiles they are sending to the tile cache network. So uh, when there were only two of them uh, and they were uh, di directly accessed, this was even higher. 
So uh, the, load, the load is uh, split up between t these six ser servers uh, quite reasonably. Some are slower, some are faster, but it depends on the type of hardware they are, us they are used. This, this is a current uh, tile cache uh, map. Uh, as you see, there's a lot of them. Uh, as I repeat, uh, only two uh, servers were in London a long time ago. And now a lot of people is using OpenStreetMap, so it, we need a lot of servers. Uh, let's continue. Uh, this is a, I, I, I fortunately have a history. I, I was doing a presentation, so I have this uh, screenshot from 2015. Uh, this is a tile cache uh, network for, uh, I, don't, I think it's a 15 servers currently. Uh, they were producing seven, uh, se almost 800 megabits a second uh, peak traffic uh, during, during a week. So this was four years ago. It's uh, May 2015. And if you skip to 2019, this is uh, data from today. Uh, from around 700 to around uh, 2.9 gigabit, uh, to, pardon, uh, excuse me, 2.7 gigabit traffic. So the traffic tripled, more than tripled. It grew three and a half times. And the list of servers that are included in the infrastructure grew almost two and a half times. Uh, this is just an introduction uh, so to the OpenStreetMap networking infrastructure. Uh, I, I want to brag. We have OpenStreetMap servers in Croatia. So do you know how many of them are? Guess the number of servers in Croatia. Uh, the number of the worldwide servers is 33 plus 6. So it's 39. Guess the number of the servers in Croatia? Three. <laughs> no, it's not zero. Uh, somebody said three. Who? You guessed. Good luck. Uh, congratulations. Uh, could somebody guess uh, their names or source of the, uh, their names? What? Yes. Yes, uh, the Songs of Ice and Fire, also known as Game of Thrones. Uh, do you, yes, this is correct answer. The Game of Thrones, Songs of Ice and Fire. Uh, do you know how many of them are named, uh, how many creation servers are named after Game of Thrones? There are three servers, how many are they named by, uh, after Songs of Ice and Fire? All three, yeah. Uh, we managed to get the all three names uh, into Croatia. So Game of Thrones is in Croatia. Uh, yes? Ah, uh, uh, not in, uh, not in, uh, not in uh, current use. There, uh, there are some uh, uh, Slavic uh, mythical dragons in, uh, on the list, but uh, when, we, uh, when we started the first ser when we started the first server in December 2014, uh, the Game of Thrones was uh, uh, firing up and it was becoming popular. And uh, admins uh, from London, they suggested Game of Thrones. Ah, you are in Croatia. They are filming a Game of Thrones there. It will be Game of Thrones names. Uh, just to mention, uh, the servers were added uh, in a span of a few years apart. So. Uh, uh, Viserion is the first tile cache uh, located in Pula. Uh, uh, Viserion is 11th server uh, on the planet that was active uh, and it was first in Croatia. So we were around 9% of the world traffic was going through Croatia. Uh, after that, we, create, uh, we uh, hosted another server in Osijek two or three years after that, I don't know how, I don't know exactly the date of the release of the second server. And it was, a ho it was a hosted in Osijek. And last year, uh, we hosted uh, from 
with the help of, of uh, my company and uh, the help of the faculty of geodesy, we hosted our first tile render server uh, in Zagreb at the faculty. So uh, at the time of the starting of that server, there were only three active, ser ren active render servers in, in, on the, in the whole world. So our, uh, our server was the fourth. So we were 25% uh, of the world traffic. Uh, currently there are six, but we are standing strong. Uh, our server is uh, running uh, fine. Uh, I don't know how to express my happiness when I can say uh, Croatia has, has uh, uh, free servers uh, uh, in the whole world. So we are almost uh, a little less than 10% of the whole world uh, um, infrastructure. So Croatia as a small country has a large impact uh, on uh, OpenStreetMap infrastructure. So I'm happy about that. Uh, uh, as with all OpenStreetMap infrastructure, it was all donated. Not, uh, not, nothing is paid for. Uh, all the, all the tile cache servers and tile render servers, except two, which are paid for, for, uh, f uh, from OpenStreetMap Foundation, uh, those located outside of OpenStreetMap uh, data centers are volunteer servers. So uh, we managed to find the good people in Pula who are uh, giving us hardware, giving us electricity, giving us band bandwidth. And uh, I would like to thank, uh, again, OpenIT for donating uh, hardware for op upgrading those servers because as time goes on, uh, requirements are getting higher. Uh, and uh, we needed to upgrade servers. We filled them up uh, with all the memory they could, uh, could take. Uh, disk, uh, the disk usage is uh, currently OK. Uh, we are trying to keep up the pace. So these are not the original servers, they are upgraded a lot. Uh, so we have them. <laughs> I, I, I sound like a little child, but I'm happy with it uh, because, uh, because more and more of creation administration and institutions are starting to use OpenStreetMap data and they don't even know they are using creation uh, sources as the, they are not going to the Europe uh, to get the data, they are getting it, getting it, it locally. And uh, the servers are in six creation internet ex exchange, so the interconnection is even better. Uh, so, uh, what can anybody, uh, what can you do about, uh, to help OpenStreetMap and infrastructure? Uh, there are a few ways. There is a way to join OpenStreetMap Foundation, which is an organization uh, that doesn't govern OpenStreetMap. It governs the infrastructure on which the project is hosted. So they are not pointing go this way. They are just managing the inf infrastructure and trying to do some good things. Uh, the other uh, thing you can help is uh, on a yearly donation drive, help donate $1 or $5, anything you want. Uh, another way is to join OpenStreetMap community in Croatia and help us with our projects. Uh, we, are, uh, uh, we got a lot of uh, positive replies for a data from public institutions and we are going to need a lot of help to map it. Uh, these two last weeks were chaos for me because we got around uh, 200 gigabytes of data that are going to be used in OpenStreetMap. Uh, that's a lot compared to the last 10 years uh, where the amount of data is zero. <laughs> so from zero to 200 gigabytes is a lot. <laughs> Uh, another way is to help like Carnet Faculty of Geodesy and OpenIT to donate uh, your resources w when you can. Currently, we, uh, I could, we could get a fourth server in OpenStreetMap uh, for OpenStreetMap, but they said, no, 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 you have too many in Croatia, you're good. Uh, 
Uh, now we are trying to get, as you see, there is no server in South, Amer uh, South America, there is no server server in Africa, no in Australia, and stuff like that. They are going, uh, trying to do, to place them outside of Europe. So we were there in a, in a moment when there were no servers outside of Europe. So uh, I don't have the slide here, but when we started Viserion, the first server, it served uh, more than half of Africa. Uh, it served all Eastern Europe and Middle East, and it served uh, Austria, Italy, that's the Western Front. So from Austria, Italy, down to Antarctica, and somewhere to India. So that, that was our reach. Now we are, you can't see, uh, now we are the pink and the other pink. Not visible here, but uh, this data is always uh, visible on the net. Uh, so, I was, I was happy. <laughs> so, uh, okay, uh, the other thing, uh, I for almost, for almost forgot, donate data. If you're a company that has data, which can be used for OpenStreetMap with open license, do it. Uh, yesterday, my colleague uh, contact me, co contacted me. Uh, he told me we he, we have a partner company which has which, which uses drones to acquire aerial imagery. They are willing to donate the data. That's uh, the part of those 200 gigabytes of data. So yesterday we got another set of data, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, let's switch to questions. If you have any questions, ask them. Go. I remember uh, when we first started this project, one of the things that you did to create a match was you had courier companies driving around with the GPSs on, and then the GPS data being fed into the uh, into your database. Yes. Yes, the, uh, uh, that is still the source. Uh, uh, that is still the, 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 the practice of some companies. We have a company in Croatia who does uh, road surveys. They film the 360 panoramas of the road surfaces when they, they are doing it for the uh, road, uh, road companies. Uh, they are donated, donating their uh, GPS tracks uh, to the open, uh, OpenStreetMap database so they can be used. Uh, they, those are not uh, your, your uh, standard uh, GPS handhelds. Those are geodesy grade uh, receivers. So, and, um, if you're an Android or an iPhone user, yeah. Uh, I don't think so, uh, because uh, th uh, that data doesn't have to be based on GPS. It, has, it can be based on uh, uh, wireless location, uh, 3G location, uh, mobile data, and stuff like that. Uh, the best uh, way is to have an application that uses directly GPS, who ca uh, which can uh, collect the GPS tracks when you start it, so you have a better precision. Uh, you said uh, Google and Facebook, right? Apple. Apple. Okay. Uh, Google doesn't allow anything to be used in OpenStreetMap. So maybe if you have the data, I don't know if you, can, you were allowed to use it. Uh, but there is a good, comp a good thing to be said about three companies I never imagined. Microsoft, Apple, Facebook. Bo uh, all of three, these three companies have teams uh, that use OpenStreetMap, analyze OpenStreetMap, correct errors in OpenStreetMap, and, uh, and contribute back to OpenStreetMap. Uh, if you're a Facebook user, you're an OpenStreetMap user. Because uh, Facebook uses OpenStreetMap uh, database to generate their own maps. With uh, uh, not just OpenStreetMap, they use here, here, here maps and Mapbox. But 
Facebook uses OpenStreetMap, Apple uses OpenStreetMap, uh, Microsoft did a thing uh, in the USA, uh, the European team, uh, they used a satellite imagery of uh, in, uh, entire USA and they analyzed using artificial intelligence all the imagery and created vector, uh, vector data for all the buildings. So they, uh, computers did the anal analysis and they acquired vectors for every building, uh, rooftops, tracing, and stuff like that. And they uh, uh, distributed that data uh, as open license. So it can be used in OpenStreetMap. So Americans uh, have that, but we'll have something similar, even better, soon, uh, because, as I said, we have 200 gigabytes of data which, uh, uh, which has a part similar to that, but even more precise. I, I can't uh, uh, announce it yet because we have to finish the, the paperwork, but it will be published soon. So there will be vector data for Croatia for some areas to enter into OpenStreetMap. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope that answers your, answer, answers your question. Yeah? Uh, two questions. Uh, what's the coverage of OpenStreetMap in Croatia and the world? And uh, is it possible maybe this is a third? Uh, so what's the coverage of Croatia in OpenStreetMaps and of the rest of the world in percentage, if that number is available? And uh, is it maybe possible, this is theoret theoretical, that uh, you can use the data from the European Galileo system to map the roads? Uh, let me start from the big end. Uh, Galileo as a uh, navigation system or what? If you're using a modern, if you're using mo modern phone, uh, it uses GPS, it uses GLONASS, it uses Galileo, it uses Baidu as uh, navigation services, if you were think about, uh, thinking about that. Uh, I'm not thinking from the user side, from the uh, Galileo side, from, from their system. Can they provide you the data from... But Galileo is a navigation uh, service, like GPS, like GLONASS. Uh, you are using their service to locate your, uh, your, yourself uh, more precise in, in space. And it's uh, a GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Baidu, they are uh, all... Uh, GNSS, uh, Global Navigation Sur uh, Satellite Service. They're, everybody calls it GPS, but it's not GPS, uh, it's not just GPS. People have to mm, get used to it as a, four uh, different navigation services. But modern phones use all four of them. So Galileo does not have any map information? No, Galileo is just satellites in space, uh, which send uh, information to you so you can locate yourself better. Uh, the first question was about coverage. Uh, Croatia uh, was only allowed to use uh, aerial imagery from uh, satellites. Hmm. Coverage, coverage, coverage. Okay, the coverage, we have uh, all the primary roads. Uh, so, I mean, all the state roads are entered. Are to, uh, there is a discrepancy about 0.05% uh, uh, because we are not tracking the roads uh, in the same center line. So, uh, distances, distances of roads are a little different, but uh, we have the old, uh, all, all of state roads covered, uh, all of uh, secondary that are Županijske ceste are also covered, uh, but local roads are not still covered. It will be soon because we have a lot of data coming in. Uh, the growth of data is quite large. Uh, the amount of data doubled in the last three years, something like that. Uh, our coverage compared to European coverage is nothing. Uh, because I always uh, mention Germans, they are crazy. They mapped uh, animal habitats in zoo. Um, we don't have, uh, because they, are have, they have access to uh, better imagery than Croatia. Uh, currently, Croatia in satellite imagery, which is allowed to use, because companies uh, 
companies uh, which provide uh, satellite imagery uh, st started to uh, allow OpenStreetMap users, users to use that imagery for mapping, but Google doesn't allow it, allowed it, so we are uh, stuck with allowed imagery. We don't have entire Croatia covered. Uh, some areas are still uh, with no satellite imagery, so we don't have the coverage of the whole country. There are what there? there are dragons in what are you? There are yes, there are dragons in Croatia. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, in 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 more ways than than uh, just the service. There are dragons in Croatia. Uh, uh, people who went uh, that way with uh, handheld GPS devices, with uh, bikes and stuff like that, they mapped the that way. But there are also empty spaces, which will be fixed soon. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, please contact me after the, uh, outside or after the presentation. I took the, uh, I, I took the guys. Uh, took their time, so I have to finish. Sorry, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I'll be available for questions later.